Okay, next activity from worksheet 11.1. We're going to keep going back to the, we're going to go back now to the geometric se sequences, and we're going to find zero terms. You found zero terms with arithmetic sequences. Now we're going to do it for geometric. With our geometric sequence, remember a geometric sequence is always multiplying by the same number or maybe dividing by the same number. This is problem two off the worksheet, and it was a geometric sequence. It is, it is a common ratio of two, which means you're multiplying by two here on all of these numbers. So I was going times two and times two all the way along here. And that's what you did to find the next three terms here. Well, if I want to, re we want to take a look at this again, that that means this is term one, term two, term three, term four, and term five. To review, where is the zero term? It is not going to the right, it is back here going to the left. The zero term is here. All right, so if I am multiplying by two to go to the right on my sequence, if I'm going back left, I have to do the opposite or the inverse of what I'm doing. Instead of multiplying by two, I will divide by two. I will actually take negative three. So on your paper, what I'd like for you to do is write down this. You've got problem two. We wanna write down that I have negative three and then I'm going to divide it by two. Take your calculator and write that down and use your calculator to do the division. Yes, you will get a decimal or you may get a fraction. And when I do negative three divided by two, I get negative 1.5. So the zero term for this sequence is negative 1.5. And what I'd like for you to do, find that zero term and now build a T table, X, Y, build my T table, zero term, negative 1.5, term one, negative three, term two is negative six, term three is negative 12, and you stop at term three. So as you go through your geometric sequences, I want you to find term zero. If you went multiplied to the right, we'll divide then going back to the left. I'm going to divide, I'm going to, in this case, I'm going to divide by two to find that zero term. And once I make it, make a T table, put the zero term in, and put down terms one, two, and three after that. Sorry about that, a little error there. Let me get that corrected for you so it looks clear. So zero term is in my T table along of terms one, two, and three. So if you have any questions on this so far, pause the video, call, have me come over, and I'll be happy to help you. Let me t talk to you a little bit about what if I have an, a sequence where actually this would be dividing by 2. So dividing by 2. So also, I know some of you may have looked at this and said, this is times a half. Okay, so if, if the sequence is going dividing by 2, dividing by 2, all the way along, how do I find my zero term? Because here's term 1, here's term 2, here's term 3, term 4, and term 5. So how do I find that zero term? Instead of dividing by 2, I will times by 2 to go the other way. So I'm going to go this way, and I'm timesing by 2. So I want to take 448, and I multiply that by 2. When I do that, if I don't know that off the top of my head, I may have to add it onto the side, um, or you grab your calculator quick. And when you do that, you get 900, or you get um, 896, 896. So if I was making this one now, I'd make my T table, and I would go X, Y, and I have zero term is 8. 96 and one term one is 448 and term two is 224 and terms three is 112. okay so if it's dividing by two in the geometric sequence then to find my zero term to go backwards i will multiply by two so because that's going to the left so when i have a so for review if i have a sequence that was multiplying as it went to the right Divide to find your zero term. If it was dividing as it went to the right, multiply. So you're going to do the opposite of what the what you found did to find the other terms in your sequences. So your task now is to do this. I want you to find <laughs> the zero term for all 
geometric sequences. On the eleven one sheet. In the zero term and build a T table. So you'll find the zero term and build a T table for all geometric sequences on the eleven one sheet. When you get done, show it to me. So I can check it over. We'll check your answers together and see how you're doing with that. All right, that's it for this video. Good luck.